Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another day of the games. My name is Ian from Born Loses Gaming, and today we are bringing you an event that is very near and dear to my heart. An event that I believe many of you know, but in case you don't, then congratulations, you're one of today's lucky 10,000. Please, everybody, buckle in, as today's event is the Bobsled Run from Mario Party 2. This game is a 2v2 minigame where sledders will be paired off in a round-robin style format, teaming up to attempt a run for the fastest time to reach the end goal. However, this track is dangerous, and it is very possible that sledders may fall off of this difficult racetrack. Be warned, there is math incoming, so should a bobsled fall off the track, the official time for that pair of sledders will be the time at the moment and place of the fall, plus the time it would take to reach the finish line from that point forward at the rate of two minutes across the entire track. An example, just in case that doesn't click like it did for me, if a sled falls off at the halfway point in 35 seconds, then that is 35 seconds for the first half, plus one minute for the second half for an official time of one minute and 35 seconds. As I mentioned, this is a dangerous game with a not so dangerous prize as all of our participants are looking for the gold. Today's players will be Rick of Imperium Ludum as Wario, John of Ubechistan as Yoshi, Felice of the Daisy Baby Bitch Territory as Peach, and Jeff of Tierra de los Hermanos Hook as Donkey Kong. With all of this information in mind, let us begin the first race. Our first pair in this round robin will be Rick and John going against Felice and Jeff. Let's see how everybody performs. You can already see that there is a best time of 1 minute and 21 seconds on the clock. Felice and Jeff storm their way into the lead. One of the parts about this game that makes it so difficult is that once you get a lead, it is very difficult to surpass. But Rick and John doing a fantastic job of making me eat my words until they fall off the ledge. That is going to be an official time with their penalty of 1 minute and 50 seconds. Felice and Jeff can now feel a bit better. As they move through this, they can take a little more time. They can move a little more slowly. They can play carefully. Let's see how these two do, because you still want to get the best times possible. <laughs> We're seeing them play careful. We're like, oh, we almost fell off. Let's slow down. Missing one of the speed boosts. An essential part of getting a good time in this game are all of the speed boosts. Not hitting walls, because hitting walls are going to slow you down tenfold, or hitting other players, as we saw early on when Felice and Jeff ran into the backside of Rick and John. That is what allowed Rick and John to move forward. This is the scary part. You need to turn right, but if you turn right too much, you're going to be going right off that racetrack. Three lefts may make a right, but two rights make an airplane. That is your fun fact of the day as we're moving down. <laughs> as we move on through this race. The single player race with Felice and Jeff. Almost to the end. There's no way to fall off now. Hold straight. Thy heroes, you have ended with a time of 1 minute and 33 seconds. As this is around Robin, we will be pairing up with new teams. But before then, let's look at the scores. Felice and Jeff having a good time of 1 minute and 33 seconds. While Rick and John, though they had a very speedy start, unfortunately falling off, leading them to have a 1 minute and 50 second time. Moving into this next race, we once again have Rick on top, this time with Felice. And on bottom, we have John and Jeff. Let's see how this swap in team fares again. The bottom team getting that early start. Rick and Felice are going to have to play catch up. John and Jeff, very good on that mash. You do have to mash in order to get that speed. Missing the speed boost, very, very big. But Rick and Felice have to get ahead again, as I mentioned in the last one. It is difficult to get around because if you run into the backside of the leading player, unfortunately, you s slow down heavily. Everyone on the track at this point, which means that everyone's moving just a little bit faster. It's going to be interesting to see if we could see a new high score today. A new record. Will you take a left? No! Rick and Felice missing out on the speed booth. John and Jeff missing out as well. John and Jeff sitting very pretty until running into a wall. Both teams run into the wall and off the cliff. John and Jeff will be ending with an official time of 1 minute and 37 seconds. However, Rick and Felice cannot sit pretty just yet. 
They understand that they do need to move a little bit faster if they want to beat that time, but not so fast that you fly off the course. This match will end with a draw. However, Rick and Felice getting ever so farther in this race will leave them with a time of 1 minute and 33 seconds. And then John and Jeff with a time of 1 minute and 37 seconds. Let's see where all the competitors stand now. A reminder that all of these times are cumulative. So our current standings have Felice in first with three minutes and seven seconds. Jeff in second with three minutes and 11 seconds. Rick in third with three minutes and 23 seconds. And then John in fourth with three minutes and 27 seconds. With all of these standings understood, let us move into our final race. Rick's final partner will be Jeff, while John's final partner will be Felice. Let's see how these two do at mashing at the beginning. Who will get the early lead? It is dead even. This is the perfect start. I love seeing this, but Rick and Jeff do get the slight boost, and they are in the lead. We've only seen one team finish so far, so I'm curious if we are going to see another in this final race. It will be a huge lead to whichever team does, if that's a possibility. John and Felice already off the ledge with the time of 151. Rick and Jeff have to be sitting very pretty now, understanding that so long as they finish, so long as they keep steady, they're likely taking home either the gold or the silver. Going down the hidden path, Rick and Jeff do still miss the speed boost. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of my favorite games. You gotta be careful. You cannot go too far to any ledge. You wanna stay in this middle. However, you do wanna hug the sides to get the best speed possible. So it's all risk and reward. And that's what makes a game like this so fun and so challenging. Opting out of the boost here in order to ensure safe passage through the less of the level. I do believe you're sitting pretty. That's it. We're going to end this with a new high score of 1 minute and 15 seconds. That is a new record going to Rick and Jeff. A fantastic score, especially sitting next to John and Felice's 1 minute and 51 seconds. I said I wasn't going to get loud. Here I am. God damn it. We now need to take the time to look at our final scores. With Rick and Jeff taking 1 minute and 15 seconds, and John and Felice taking 1 minute and 51, our final standings are as such. Jeff walking home with the gold with 4 minutes and 27 seconds, a fantastic cumulative time. In second place is Rick, coming off hot of that 115, having 4 minutes and 39 seconds. Felice, having done so well in the first two runs, they're going to be walking away with 4 minutes and 59 seconds. And then finally, John, unfortunately plummeting too much, will be walking away with the fourth place, 5 minutes and 19 seconds. With everything calculated, let's look over the current medal standings. In first is Tierra de los Hermanos Hook with five golds, one silver, and two bronze medals. In second is Imperium Ludum with three golds, four silvers, and two bronze medals. In third place is the Daisy Baby Bitch Territory with two golds, two silvers, and three bronze medals. And in fourth place is Ubechistan with zero gold medals so far, three silvers, and three bronze. I would also like to give a quick shout out to our top three competitors so far, Rick walking away with three gold medals, and then Jeff and Dave walking away with two. Congratulations to everyone who played today, and thank you so much for watching today's event here at The Games. We would love to have you back here for tomorrow's event, as tomorrow is another special event, snowboarding. Thank you all so much once again for watching, and thank you, Rick and the Deep Ed, for having me. My name, once again, is Ian of Born Losers Gaming. If you enjoy my voice, we play plenty of Metroidvanias and other Nintendo titles, and we would love to have you over on our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.